GPTs can do just about anything. All of these new custom GPTs in the GPT store can help you automate so many things that take up so much time, whether it's building a business, entrepreneurship, marketing, sales, or even coding. So today we're going to look at one of the very popular GPTs on the GPT store. So let's get started. But before we do, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you like. But also, please go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for the free daily newsletter. So this is our AI in five segment where we take about five-ish minutes to show you a way to use generative AI to grow your business and to grow your career. So we're going to check out this one here. This is called Grimoire. All right, so let's go. Let's go ahead and launch this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I, I watched a little tutorial video from the developer of this, uh, but you can type in K to get a list of commands uh, that this Grimoire bot can do. So uh, what's great is this is really well built. Um, I was surprised um, at the amount of uh, the different tasks that this uh, can do. It's it's literally just an all in one coding platform within a GPT, which is really cool. So essentially the, the, the K key kind of gives you a shortcut uh, or a command to kind of tell you everything that this Grimoire GPT can do. So it's listing it all out here. I'm gonna go ahead, once it's done, I'm gonna click P to show the, the different um, projects that you can run uh, within this custom GPT. So if you're new to custom GPTs, uh, some of them are poorly built. This one is not. This one, it's 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 like there's built-in documentation on just about anything and everything you can do. Uh, I like I said, I did watch a quick tutorial video uh, from the uh, the maker of this. So I'm going to be kind of replicating in this tutorial uh, what he did on his. So uh, yeah, this it's it's taken a little bit, but that's actually a good thing. That just shows you uh, everything that you can do in here. So you know you can just ask questions for helping with coding. You can you know there's the different project types you can uh you know type in dash pdf and it can generate a pdf for download so if you're working on something um you know if you're working on code you can uh you know send it to netlify so let's let's go ahead we're going to type in p to get bring up those project ideas so again if you're not a coder that's okay um i'm not necessarily a coder anyways yes i've built websites but i generally use kind of building uh you, you know or um, you know, visual builder platforms on WordPress. Um, so I, yes, I know the basics of, of, you know, coding with, you know, PHP, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, but I'm definitely not someone that can, you know, code by hand very well. Um, so this is a great, um, a great different, uh, a great GPT that can help you code from scratch and also deploy it. So uh, let's go through here. So I typed in uh, P, so now it's giving me a lot of different uh, project uh, it looks like some, you know, this is fun. You know, this, this, this GPT does have like a, um, almost like a, a mind of its own here. All right. So we gave it some time. Sorry, that took a while, but now. What I want to do is this link in bio. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to type in link in bio. All right, there we go. So now it's telling me great choice. So essentially it gave me all of these different, and it's a lot. It gave me all of these different uh, kind of commands or programs that I could create within this custom GPT. So yes, this one is highly technical, um, but it does kind of make it easy. So it's telling me what I am what I can do. So it says, great choice, the Lincoln Bio project from part one, chapter one. So it, it kind of lays out all these different projects almost um, in a series. I, I, I was actually kind of reading them for a second because I'm like, wait, what, what is all of this? But it looks like it is almost walking you through how to use it step by step. And it, it said it recommends beginners get started with a, you know, either Hello World or Lincoln Bio. So I chose Lincoln Bio. And now, um, now I believe it just says, should we start discussing the design or just jump straight into coding? So the thing I like is it gives you suggested next action. So it says Q uh, slash Q would be to discuss it or slash C start coding. So I'm just going to say slash C 
And then I'm going to go ahead and leave my links that I want in this link in bio. So I'm just going to paste my links in there. I don't know if I need to go and have a conversation first, but here's my different links that I'm going to put in there. So we'll see if it starts building it right away or if it's going to, um, you know, have to ask me a couple other questions. All right. So what's cool is it's building it right away. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so right now it's building it kind of file by file. So if you don't know a lot about, you know, web development or web design, um, essentially websites, most websites are built in similar fashion. So you'll probably have an HTML file. Um, you'll probably have a CSS file. Um, we will probably get a JavaScript file. So, you know, CSS is kind of how you style a web page. HTML is kind of like the content of the web page. Uh, JavaScript is sort of like functions or special features or how um, a website operates. So those are kind of three uh, standard files that might be created if you're in web development. So uh, our HTML our HTML file is done. Our CSS file is done. And again, I didn't give it any directions. I could say I could probably say like, oh, make it these color, you know, this type of color, this type of font. You know, write this type of description. I'm just doing this to see how quickly we can create a link in bio site by using this, this GPT. So we have our CSS there. We have our, okay. So, so far, apparently, uh, it looks like we just have CSS and HTML. So now it's saying, uh, the code will create a simple yet elegant. All right. So apparently we don't need uh, JavaScript. Uh, that's fine. So it says the styling is basic, but it can be customized further. Would you like to proceed with deploying or make modifications? So it can say deploy the page as is, or, uh, discuss and make modifications to the page. So let's just go ahead. We're just going to click slash W. See what happens here. All right. So it is starting the action. So we have our files already. So we could, you know, if you're using something like, um, you know, like, like Netlify or whatever, right. You could just copy and paste uh, this and, you know, deploy a site just like that. But I believe it's going to give us a package that we can actually, uh, download here. So let's see, it is doing the action. I know this is a little bit of a longer one, but this GPT is, uh, pretty impressive that it can do all of these different things up here within one GPT, uh, which I like. So, uh, it is, you know, taking, taking a second here, it's starting the action to, uh, deploy the web page. All right. So now I have to give it uh, permission to talk to Netlify. So I have a Netlify account. I'm just going to click always allow. I know Netlify, it's, uh, you know, kind of similar to Replit. So it's just a way that you can kind of uh, launch or deploy websites pretty quickly. So somehow it's already done. Okay. So I thought I was going to have to download a, a zip file and upload it, but apparently not. So it says your link in bio page has been successfully deployed. You can view it here. So it says this deploy site will be deleted in one hour. If you want to keep it, you have to claim the URL. So pretty easy, pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and view it and click this link. All right. So extremely simple, right? But it works, right? It works, which is, you know, really cool. So uh, I don't want to take, uh, I don't want to take too long, uh, but let's just go ahead and, and see. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say, please give it a background photo that shows AI and some spacing between the buttons, all right, in the link in bio. So let's just see, just as an example, how this works if you do want to modify this. Yeah, I know this is, you know, not going to be an exact five-minute video, but, you know, we saw right here, it made us a simple link in bio page, and it's literally already live. And I didn't even have to log in. I didn't have to copy and paste the HTML and the CSS files uh, in, or upload them anywhere. It literally just launched them, which is really cool. So now it looks like it's creating a background image and it's uh, it says it's using uh, an unsplash. So it'll add a URL to an AI themed image as the background. Okay, cool. Um, and then it's at, it's adding, it's it's updating the CSS file to add some more spaces between the link. All right, so it is doing that. It looks like here we have our updated HTML. Looks like we have our updated uh, CSS right there. It's already done, which is super fast. And then it says, okay, uh, do you want to redeploy or discuss further? So I'm gonna click backslash W. 
And then let's go ahead and redeploy this. The thing I really like about Grimoire is you can literally do so much of this. I haven't had to type hardly anything, which is great, right? It has all these kind of shortcut keys that you can just type in, you know, backslash W and deploy, you know, so I, I had to give a little bit of direction, but, you know, the fact that I just coded, uh, you, you know, a working, you know, kind of link in bio alternative, I'm going in here, I'm making updates, I'm walking you all through it, and we're doing it in a matter of minutes, right? Uh, with very little work. Like I said, I know the basics. Uh, you, you know, the basics of, you know, HTML, CSS, um, you know, but I'm not someone that can write code from scratch. Uh, I would not be able to write this code from scratch, um, but it did it for me, you know, so some very basic uh, HTML, some uh, simple CSS uh, going through and talking, uh, talking to this Grimoire GPT in real time and just telling it what updates that I want. Uh, so again, it looks like it's deployed and I can view it at this link. So let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, cool. So uh, that was easy. That was simple, right? So I have a working, uh, you know, link in bio. So, you know, some services charge you, you know, a monthly fee and there's obviously, you know, other bells and whistles, but this is pretty cool. Um, it has the buttons. It, you know, has a nice hover color here. It put a little, you know, AI themed uh, kind of photo there in the background and it's up and it's working. So uh, this, I could honestly do probably hours of reviews on this Grimoire, but it's, it's so robust. Uh, very impressive. If you are into coding, if you want to learn more, uh, there's a lot that you can do uh, with this uh, GPT. All right. So I hope this was helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks, y'all.